Hello, it's been a while that I didn't show up with my videos and I didn't film normally Easter and the end of winter and um, a lot of stuff this spring and I feel sorry about that and because uh, this year it's extremely nice because it's not hot and it's not cold it's very moderate, it's my favorite weather when, can, uh, when you can wear your um, light sweater and uh, jeans or something like this and go out and enjoy the warm smell of the village of the um, plants of the um, gardens of the woods and of course of the animals <laughs> no doubt uh, uh, well, we are doing great. Uh, my older boy is already seven and a half years old, and the younger is four. And by the end of summer, he'll be five. And um, we've spent a nice, nice winter at home. They didn't really go anywhere to the kindergarten or school. They were ju just sitting at home, and. Um, playing together. This winter they played together a lot and, and made me feel proud and happy for them and they were not bored. That's why I didn't uh, uh, made, make them go anywhere to so to say uh, socialize because uh, I liked uh, their socialization at home and uh, you can hear now the voices of the dogs and the pigs and they think that they will get uh, supper now but I'm not uh, giving them supper it's my husband that is ca taking care of them uh, mostly and uh, you can also hear the kids the neighbors kids we didn't take care of the garden yet and my uh, neighbors did but my mother is going to come in a week to help me with it, so we'll work together and make it flourish. So to say, here is our um, strawberries, and there are some weeds still, but I worked a bit last year and this year to make it feel, these plants feel better and there are also first flowers here so we'll have some strawberries definitely and my younger one, Ulas, he lives from the season of strawberries to the season of strawberries it's his uh, personal new year most important event event of the year that is he's waiting so hard uh, I've been working as a school teacher this school teacher this year and I was English teacher and I had um, six hours per week so I have had um, three classes on uh, Tuesday and then three classes on Friday and it uh, were first, second and the third grades and it was kind of fun and very interesting experience to be the school teacher in the local village public school and uh, the kids are nice and active and uh, the classes are small it's uh, the most, uh, the biggest group there is the is the, the big, biggest class is uh, six people, and uh, the first grade is five people. The second one is also five, and then uh, the third grade has three girls, four girls, five girls, five girls and one boy. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I've I've told it. Uh, three times already, but that it was it was fun. But it is not w was not always fun. Sometimes it was super hard, super depressing, and super um, upsetting me, 
because I it was hard to organize the discipline without um, like this common pressure without yelling or without bra without um, I don't know um, putting bad marks or something like this uh, that they are accustomed to and uh, first half of the year I would say it was kind of a nightmare but later on I saw that it worked somehow and we um, understood got to know how to work with each other and um, we did it I would say like it, it was it was a good process but um, for now I feel like I'm not able to do it anymore because it's really physically mentally and emotionally hard for me because uh, I don't know why Maybe I'm a bad teacher, maybe I'm a good teacher, or maybe my I'm too good or maybe I'm too bad. I for now um I don't really care. The only thing that I know now that I don't want to work like this anymore because it's not enough money and it's not enough um, visual progress and it's not enough support and it's not enough happiness in this process I don't know uh, I, the, the people that really work uh, with the kids all the time I guess they are superheroes because it's um, it's extremely extremely hard and you have to be creative you have to be the psychologist you have to be the good mother sometimes or you have to be the good partner sometimes and you have to be the good judge sometimes but it's not it's not that easy like it looked uh, in the very beginning and uh, I began to feel uh, sad more and more often and I began to feel more and more depressed um, with the thoughts that I'm gonna have classes tomorrow so I don't want to put uh, the kids in this situation and myself in this situation. I'm gonna quit uh, quit the job uh, in the end of the year. So by the end of May, I will be done with that. And I'm very grateful um, that I had this experience. And now I definitely know that I don't don't really want to grow in this um, direction. Because it's uh, it's not for me, and it is make me making me unhappy. And I want to spend more time outside. I want to spend my, more time doing psychotherapy, and I want to spend more time um, inviting guests uh, to the guest house that we've done here, and to spend more time playing with my kids. Because I've lost uh, this um, smell or taste of playing with my own kids. Because I was too exhausted with um, all these uh, students of myself. So when I came back home I told them, kids, just don't bother me, I'm too tired. I'm sorry, can't I can't read, I can't play, I can't talk to you normally because I want to lay down, lie down and, or to stare at my monitor all the time at my screen and do nothing it was my hide hiding place and I don't I don't like it I don't like it and I don't like it and uh, now you see this beautiful now I see this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blossom on the pear tree. We already had uh, apricots and blossom. Now there are cherries, apple trees and pear trees. I love uh, pear trees blossom the most because it's super, super, super white. It's not transparent white, it's very, very white. And uh, 
Tell me how are you doing? Uh, where you live? How do you like this um, uh, story format or like talking head format for this uh, video blog? And I will show you a bit my. I just don't want to sh what know what to show you from the garden. We have only strawberries. Oh, I, I have trees. I'll go and show you the trees. You see this yellow bush and this year it really looks like the beautiful one, like the decoration. It's only the first one, year, first year of the blossom of this plant. I just don't know really the good names in English. And these are the pine trees that, that feel so good and gonna grow nice and big. Nice and beautiful. Our village, our family is famous for the biggest weeds that annoy everybody. But this year, a few days ago, on the Easter day, we went to our Facebook friend to visit her family. And she shared a lot of flowers with us. And we've planted them together with the kids and my husband. And here they are, and I hope that we've, we will take care of this part and everybody will be happy to see that we can bring some beauty to the village. We'll see, it's always tricky because the weeds are super strong here and it's oh, here is my Ulas the younger boy скажи привет Уласик Вертайся. Вертайся. Hello. I, I invite you to go to the yard where is our guest house. And it doesn't look uh, too good. And I was uh, feeling very uh, maybe shameful to show it to the people. But I was thinking today, but is that it looks, uh, you know, it looks very raw. And some people that like uh, raw things, they would like to come participate and also to leave their part of um, their souls and uh, their body and energy in this yard. And uh, there is also the idea to invite people there, so they could renov renovate and uh, make... Um, like, um, the idea is that people will come there to relax and to come back to their very normal and happy condition. And they could have uh, some Qigong together with me if they like. They can, or they should, I guess, they should work physically uh, to change something very uh, this, uh, this change could be very visible because usually in our office works it is not visible at all and uh, it's also will be made of uh, this interve by this intervention of the guests and everybody that comes they he will she will know that Yes, these plants, they grew bigger, much bigger than they were last year. And this is my birthday present from my personal psychotherapist and teacher. And this is new 
tree and we have the kittens and Ulas is playing with the kitten now and he wanted to, he wanted to show me Okay. And now we are ready to enter the yard and as you can see there is no fence because there was the old fence and it was kind of dangerous for the kids and there is some leftovers by the road but we didn't want it there and we are thinking how to uh, make the new one and how to make it look friendly and safe at the same time. As you can see everything here is in blossom. Cherry trees, pear tree and cherry trees. I love this big uh, pear trees in this village. They look old and beautiful and for me it's like um, the Totoro tree. Do you know this cartoon by uh, Japanese uh, director Miyazaki? And uh, there is a cartoon called Totoro and there is some go there was some pet ghost that lived in the root of the big tree, tree that took care of the small girl in this film. Yard for the chickens, our chickens that give us eggs and do you know why are these branches are here? They help chicken to hide when the eagles come for them. They just go under these branches and hide. Oh, they think I, they will, I will give them food, but it's a mistake. My husband will do it later. There is the ground and I worked on the top level just under the roots to plant here some grass that we brought from the fields. And in, I want it to be green. And here is our oldest cat and me. I've planted some strawberries here uh, between the between the flowers. And you have the, the flower. This part will be covered with the roof, with some kind of columns and some bit of fans made of bricks. These bricks. If you want to come and help, you're welcome. No, палочку, ты на Европа не запахай. I've planted some flowers here this year. I hope they will blossom the next year. But we'll see if they feel good here. Here is this house from the other side, from the field. And here is in his hand. Last autumn we've planted some bushes so people could and we could have some nice berries this summer. Just go out and pick them up. Easy. And here is my cat, you know it already. My white beautiful old cat. We came here with her almost six years ago and she is older than this boy. Oh. This, is this field, this is our green field is our land and we have grass here for our goats. 
can also come and get lost here in a good sense. And here is the other side, the third side of the building. And previous owner, the old lady, she wanted to be it to be blue and I guess we will save the color. Just refresh it and maybe make something some additional decoration. M M A you Yes Ada. My name? My name is Ada. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Bye bye.